Take off on this flight, April 11, 1970, at 13.13 Central Standard Time. Right there, I should have known something was going to happen. The big Saturn V took off. It's a three-stage rocket. Its job is to put us into Earth orbit to check out our spacecraft before we commit ourselves to the moon. First stage worked perfectly as we jettisoned with the five engines of the second stage. And as Gene had mentioned, the center engine of the second stage shut down two minutes early. And we thought to ourselves in the spacecraft, this is our crisis. Is there something really wrong? Because almost every space flight has something go wrong. An experiment doesn't work, or an instrument fails, or something like that. Uh, we know now that the, the engine was going divergent on the structure, and had we not had a safety switch to turn it off, it would have ruined our whole day, or been disintegrated, and that would have been it. But fortunately, it did, and the ground team quickly found out that with the four engines and the fuel we still had on board, we weren't any problems. And so we all breathed a sigh of relief in the spacecraft. Hey, that was our crisis. All over with, smooth flight from now on. The third stage then put us into Earth orbit, came around from the side of the Earth, looking, checking out our spacecraft, everything looked perfectly. And when we got around to the far side of the Earth, away from the moon, we lit the third stage for a second time, and that gave us enough velocity that on the proper course to coast all the way to the moon. That course is called a free return course. It's called free return because if something should happen to the spacecraft, for instance, the maneuvering engine on our command module refused to fire in space. Never been fired there before anyway. We were on a course that would take us all the way, coasting all the way to the moon. The moon's gravity would swing us around aim us back down towards the Earth, and just with our little attitude rockets, hopefully we can make a safe landing back on Earth. That's why it's called free return. Every flight from Apollo 8 to Apollo 17 started out on this extra safety factor. About 30 hours have gone by, and everything is working perfectly. We're getting our experiments all squared away and navigating and things like that. Received a call from Mission Control, and they said, Jim, look, if you want to land in this place called Frau Mauro, if you want the sun in the proper position, so that when you come down in your lunar module, you'll be able to see the shadows of the rocks and the boulders on the surface, and you can maneuver to miss them for a safe landing, then what will have to get you off that free return course? Well, again, to be extra safety, we, we looked around to make sure there wasn't anything wrong with our spacecraft, and everything looked fine. So, our, by the way, our two spacecraft are now married together. The lunar module we call Aquarius, uh, which is powered down, of course, and our command service module we call Odyssey. We're doing all our maneuvering from Odyssey. They gave us the proper attitude to maneuver to. I lit that maneuver engine. That was its test to begin with. Worked perfectly. Moved us over to a new course to the moon, which we call a hybrid course to the moon. 